In today's video, we're going to go over building a rod rack in detail, and that's going to be materials list, everything you need to purchase, and how to put it together. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So welcome back for all you guys that are subscribed and anybody that's new here. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I guess you guys seen the title and thumbnail. Uh, made it real easy for you guys to choose this one because I'm going to go over my how-to basically on my rod rack. I have a different video uh, that I'll put up here. It's just kind of like an overview of what I did. But in this video, I'm going to go into detail on how I built it, what you guys need to do to, uh, you know, like to buy and pick up. Uh, to build one yourselves because I had a couple people message me a, a couple different people wanted some in-depth details on you know how to build it I think I went over how many uh, rods that'll hold and kind of what it holds in my other video uh, you guys can see that one um, but I will go over it again in detail um, so you guys get basically every every bit of information you need to make one yourself so let's get started okay so let's go do a little overview for you guys real quick here so as you can see these are just uh wall mount uh i think berkeley makes them in fact i will find it real quick here yep so these are as you can see them there the horizontal rod rack um i have a spare here obviously but what you'll need next is, okay, so I'm going to go over this list with you and try and point this out for you real quick. Uh, the simplest way I can do this is saying your parts list first and then describing to you how big everything actually is. So we're going to start with the big 2x6s. These are a, just a regular pine 2x6. Um, it's one piece, uh, I'd have to do the math real quick for you, but there are three of those that are 47 inches long. So you need one, two, three of those. Okay, so to simplify that, this right here is a two by six. You need three of those at 47 inches long. Otherwise, uh, if you go to a store and you're looking for them, I believe you can buy them most places at 12 feet long. So then you can just get one board. So that's one 12 by six. So then we'll give you the dimensions for the two by four next. Okay, so now onto the two by four, we will go, so you need one, two for uprights. Those are 36 inches long. And the way they go together is underneath the two by uh, two by six on top, and then on top of the two by four on the bottom. So those two are thirty six inches long. Then the feet to this right here, so that you got two of those. The feet to that are sixteen inches long. Um, the simplest way to look at this is I already gave you the dimensions for the two by six. You only need one 2x4 at 8 foot long, and you should have enough materials to build this whole thing. Now, uh, I can kind of go over real simple like how to put this together, and I will go over that right now. Okay, so I will go over how to put all this together real quick, uh, but one more thing you need. Uh, these are Berkeley, um, what is it? I think they're horizontal, yeah, horizontal rod holders. So you should be able to buy those just about anywhere. Your local bait shop should have them. If they don't have them, Walmart has them. Everybody who carries fishing supplies generally has these. So you're gonna need six of those. I mean, this holds 36 rods. <laughs> so if you wanna do that, so you have room for 36 rods, you can. Obviously you can build it one-sided if you wanted to and put like hooks on that side so you can hang stuff off of it. But what I did, <laughs> over here is I just threw two screws in there and what that allows me to do is take my backpack and hang it right on the end so kind of helps you know organize everything that way uh, let me go over how to put this like assemble it we'll go over that next okay so we'll start with the main frame is kind of how I did this uh, 
So what I'm talking about is foot, upright, cross beam, and then, you know, obviously upright foot. So it's the simplest way to do this and to do it like, so it's even like this, so you can use it both sides. You can use it like as a platform, like I did, um, would be you take your two by four. So your, I believe that's my, yep, 36 inch two by four. And you take your 16 inch two by four and you center it on the center right there in the middle up against the inside of the two by four. Obviously, it's not the inside until you do the second one. You just got to remember to face them both towards each other. And then once you get those together, so I did that upright, that upright. I simply centered this one. As you can see, it overhangs. So center this one. Oh. One thing I did forget to say is you will need, I use deck screws, they're a little excessive, um, but they won't rot or nothing and they never, they'll never rust on me. So you do need a box of screws. Um, these are two by fours, obviously, then you can get away with like a one and a half inch screw to put this together, but I wanted it nice and solid. So I used, I believe they're three inch deck screws. So that's something to pay attention to. But back to this, I did, the upright, then the cross beam. So I set that down. I evened these out so that they were in line with my uprights. So these are your other uh, two by sixes that are 47 inches long. So each one of these is the same length. So it makes a real simple kind of like a duplicate cut, you know, stack cut. It makes it real easy for you to do that. So line them up on this side. So do one at a time, do this, then come over here and space your, uh, your foot, I guess you could call that your foot out, so that you can line it up nice and evenly with that one, push it nice and tight up against there, put the one screw in, then the next screw, and that side's done. Then basically duplicate that process on that side, and once it's all together, then I went ahead and put these in, with these tiny little screws. So these uh, normally come with a screw in the box. So you can use those, but I don't, I think they were silver <laughs> and I got a nitpicky OCD thing about colors matching and all that stuff. And you know, I wanted it to look halfway decent. So I went ahead and grabbed some one inch, uh, I think these are for like hanging pictures or something like that. So just little one inch black screws. All you need is little wood screws. So uh, you obviously, what would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. You will need 10, well, 12, make that 12 little one inch screws to attach all of those to it if you do the six, like I said. And then obviously, like I said, at the end, if you want to, if you have room for it, you can put some, uh, you can put hooks or something like that, but two of those uh, screws on the end here. And I don't have them over here because I have my uh, heater stacked up on this end but you could also stick two more right there. Okay guys, so that's the uh, pole holder or rod holder, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, this is actually what I'll call a horizontal rod holder because I'm going to make a, a ver vertical one, or horizontal. No, this is a vertical one. I'm going to be making a horizontal one, one where it holds your rod sideways because as you can see, I've a really big rod back there that does not fit in this room. Uh, that is a big pointer I want to make uh, a disclaimer for so you guys understand this. So by putting by putting those rods on that it lifts them up off the ground two inches basically. So because of that it takes away headroom. And I have a short ceiling in here. I guess it's about six and a half feet or something like that. So my six foot rod is about that far from the ceiling. And my almost seven foot, well, my seven foot something rod uh, doesn't stand up in this room, period, let alone on the rack. So if you're doing this, make sure you have high ceilings. This would be great for a garage or a man cave where you have lofted ceilings. And you know that way you're you know you can stick a fly rod on there and it wouldn't matter you know if it's eight feet long, so there'd be plenty of room for you guys for that then. And uh, obviously, like I said, it's a 
36 rod holder. So I've got a lot of filling to do and it's that's why I built it the way I did was because if I buy rods I my favorite rods are six foot six anyways so it you know it's one of those things like I, I'm gonna make the other rod holder for them but regardless I can fill this full of short ones or breakdowns whatever I need to do um, I might even just hang my ice rods on the back of that when I'm not using them so I can just grab them and go so that's another tip for you guys uh, that go ice fishing you could you could leave out all your rods and only pack the ones you need versus keeping all of them crammed together in one case. I have two cases full of rods right now for ice fishing, which it just got me thinking about it. I'm probably going to leave out half my rods hanging on that back rack uh, of empty holders because then that way when I you know go fishing, I can pull off the ones that I need and I'm good to go. So keeps everything organized, keeps things simple, helps you out in the long run. You know, you want to be on the water as much as possible. So just make your life a little more simple and build yourself a rod rack. So I hope that helps a bunch of people out. All the people that ask questions, anybody that's new that sees this, I'm hoping it helps you guys out too. Um, obviously, this isn't the only thing I do on this channel. So if you're not subscribed, just remember to.